infiltration to eliminate enemy sentries located on the march. These highly trained helicopter pilots can fly at a cruising speed of 138 miles per hour just a few feet off the ground at night and in bad weather. The Black Hawk helicopter has a crew of four and can hold up to ten passengers depending on the internal load configuration. It is armed with two 7.62 miniguns which can inflict devastating fire on any positions, as each gun can carry up to 6,000 rounds per minute. Included in this assault force are highly trained demolition experts. They are trained in a variety of conventional explosives such as dynamite and C4 plastic explosives. They're also trained in the use of improvised munitions used to conduct hasty sabotage operations. In this scenario, a demolitions expert known as a breacher will place a simulated C4 explosive charge on the door to gain entry into the cabin. While inside, the force will discover a weapons and ammunition cache. Much like a real mission, because of limited time and no means to remove the items, the team will place C4 explosives on the cache using time-delayed fuse. The explosive charge is calculated to detonate after the element leaves the barge. Ladies and gentlemen, shortly you'll see two MH6 Little Bird helicopters return to pick up the snipers who were dropped off earlier at the hospital. After retrieving the personnel, the aircraft will conduct an armed reconnaissance overhead, remaining over the channel while the tactical elements attack their targets. These highly maneuverable aircraft provide an excellent means to detect enemy personnel gathering for a counterattack. The snipers on board go through extensive training to accurately shoot from the moving aircraft. Ladies and gentlemen, if you look to your left on the bridge near Jackson's Bistro, you will see vehicles moving to attack an enemy checkpoint located next to the bus stop in front of the convention center. This assault force consists of personnel from Colombia, Czech Republic, Finland, Poland, Peru, Thailand, and the United States. They are using special operations ATVs and ground mobility vehicles, which are modified Humvees. U.S. Special Operations Command modified the basic Humvee to fit the specialized missions that its personnel will conduct. Because special operator personnel may need to operate deep behind enemy lines and on their own with only occasional resupply from the air, the 275-mile cruising range of the vehicles is invaluable. Low-profile, run-flat tires allow the crew to continue movement even when the tire damage occurs. The other vehicle you see is the four-wheel lightweight tactical all-terrain vehicle. An extremely important feature of this vehicle is that it seats two personnel. One individual provides armed security while the other drives.
I'd now like to direct your attention to the boat's lips next to the convention center grounds. The SEALs who have remained underwater since their infiltration are now engaging an enemy sentry before the main assault. You'll notice that the individuals are utilizing the LAR-5 Drager rebreather. This is a closed circuit scuba device which runs on 100% oxygen. All expelled breath is recycled into the closed circuit when it is filtered for carbon dioxide. The result is a complete elimination of bubbles which makes the Drager ideal for clandestine amphibious operations.